where do I begin? First and foremost, what's going on YouTube fam, incredible people, just incredible here. Let's just get into it, okay? This is gonna be a transformer kind of night. Transformer. Transformers. Transformers 1 trailer. What do I think of it? I liked it. I don't hate it. Um, I years ago gave up, like it was after having debates with friends with Ugly Sonic to where I started seeing things in a different light. Um, I was still against Ugly Sonic, but I mean, I would still go see the movie. Like, I, I mean, it's like, okay, he's ugly, but I'm gonna still go see it. The Michael Bay turtles are ugly as fuck, but I'm still gonna see it. I don't think these Transformers are ugly. People are saying it's lighthearted. I, and I get it. I get where this is coming from. I get both sides, but let's actually stop a minute and let's just look. I know, for, I mean, I've been there since day one, my damn self. I grew up in that era. Trust me, I get it. When somebody touches something that's near and dear to you, uh, Michael Bay, Ninja Turtles, and screws it to be damned, then you kind of leave a bad taste in your mouth. I am now the operation, something's either for me or it's not for me, period. Because if Transformers 1 turns out to be a colossal bomb, I got my Transformers with the original animated movie and with a few of the Michael Bay movies, including, and then Bumblebee and Rise of the Bees, and eh, the debate's out. But anyway, one thing people are like, um, to be honest, okay, first of all, what I, the only thing that I'm sitting different with is Megatron. I'm just not used to, or whatever his name is before Megatron. Fuck that, that's Megatron. I'm not used to this lighthearted version. I never read the IDW comics, but, and forgive me because of allergy season, so I might be snorting like I'm having a little booger shipment. But anyway, so that's the only thing that was weird to see, but let's look at history. Let's look at the track of movies. That's why it's not, it's new, it's not new to me. All of us geeks and nerds are gonna come out with the pitchforks. Hell no, we won't go. You don't believe me? Okay, let's weigh the cons versus the pro. No pun intended, except cons. Let's go all the way back to Michael Keaton. When Michael Keaton was cast as Batman, I was a little I was a better weed lad, so I didn't know all the backlash. The guy's scrawny, blah 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 blah. Fucking knocked it out of the park. Shall I keep going? I'm just gonna name a few things just that off the top of my head, this is not scripted. Heath Ledger. What did Heath Ledger do? Like, look at what these people did. Multiplicity, Heath Ledger, King Arthur. I liked Heath Ledger on 10 Things I Hate About You, but that's just me. He's gonna be the Joker. Heath Ledger, oh, broke back mountain. <laughs> Out of the motherfucking part. <laughs> Let's do voice acting. So, okay, people didn't like the voice actors. I can't really name too many movies where there's not a fucking star-studded cast. Night Disney movies, Lion King. Who played Simba? Jonathan fucking Taylor Thomas, who in the 90s, he was, you know, the heartthrob for the little girls and stuff like that. Nobody was like, ah, we don't need, we need an unknown. Why? Did Jonathan Taylor Thomas ever do voice work before he played Simba? Which is still arguably, mine is Aladdin, the best animated, if not one of the best up there, that in Toy Story, um, as the best Disney movies. And shall I bring up Toy Story? Woody Allen? Sh should I keep on motherfucking going? Tom Hanks? Okay. Put the pitchforks down. I was one of you. Let's stop. Pump your fucking brakes. Okay. Chris Hemworth is not an like super alien. He was fucking Thor. That is it. Scarlett Johansson here and there, she was fucking the widow. That is it. If we gonna the the voice acting portion of it, did Buzz Lightyear and did Woody not nail it? Granted though, they had nothing to go up against. They had no shoes to fill, so I get that. But my whole thing is, how the fuck you gonna judge something before you even watch the shit? Yes, this was a lighthearted trailer. I can name dozens of Disney movies that was tragic as fuck. <laughs> Character development, but still can't be goofy, sprinkled in between. This is for kids, we say that, right? So I, 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 I argue this. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go deep, deep, deep. Yes, this is a KO, but do you know what this is? This is the second design of a Ninja Turtle. 
So those who started with this can argue or could argue, how'd they go from killing Shredder, blood, guts, and shit, to Campy, and now one of the highest selling properties that exist? This rated R shit turned into this. Yo, man, I'm just saying, like, put the pump your brakes and actually look at how they, this is nothing new. Shall I keep going? This was my Bumblebee, the human friend that took over for Hound. The like, I, when the Michael Bay movies and shit kicked off, nobody gave a fuck about Bumblebee. Not as far as I'm concerned, till maybe Goldbug. And even then, it was stretching. They turned this motherfucker, okay, into this motherfucker. Yes, it was an upgrade in my opinion. This is badass. But, I mean, let's face it, it's not the same. But the reason why I'm going that way is because of this. If you're a Transformers fan, you know who this is and what this is from. I will even admit, after only watching it this year for the first time, or maybe towards the end of last year, yeah, towards the end of last year, and you can go back and search one of my videos when I was reviewing this, I thought this was the lamest looking shit that that existed. I was just like, they look stupid. Why do they have face express? Like they've always done that, but it's too animated. When they transform, it was just scribbles. This was a damn good show. I cannot believe it didn't get picked up for another season. I will admit that. When they made that, I could have said, you fucking with my transformers. That's people were kids who are now grown adults who started with animated with Michael Bay. Some of the same people I guarantee are arguing, that's Transformers 1, is not my trans... Motherfucker, this is not my Optimus Prime. Did you see Ultra Magnus on this show? Those are not my Ultra Magnus and Optimus Prime. But guess what? It wasn't for me, but I still enjoyed it because I still have my Optimus Prime to this day. Dude, does... Look at his face versus how badass this dude was. So, I'm just trying to say, give the shit a chance. Like, yes, it was a campy commercial for the most part, but on film and everything, when have you ever really seen the depths of this? They tried to go a more serious dark tone, and that was the Transformer trilogy on Netflix. I'm interested in seeing this movie because it has more weight, more impact when shit goes south. Chris Hemsworth is Optimus, but he's not out. He's Orion fucking Pax. First of all, I don't even know if he will be Optimus. I'm pretty sure he will, but you can change your voice. You can throw your voice, even voice actors. And these are professionals, so it's not like they can't go get coaching or whatever. Whoever came up with it, they weren't trying to go superstar studded because, I mean, they went Hemsworth. They went Johansson, Johanna. I don't even know her fucking Scarlett Johansson. So, or is it Johanna? Like, no, Johanna's when I'm watching um, Talking About Tapes, but that's a whole nother show for a whole nother time. The point is, they obviously heard or saw something in this man to where he pulled it off. I'm willing to say, hey, I'm just gonna go in and say, do I like this movie? They're like, it looks all, oh, like the Lego movies and stuff like that. I, I could have swore the Lego movie did fucking awesome. I, I could be wrong. I might be wrong. And the voice of on the Lego movie was Ryan Reynolds. In fact, I don't know too many movies where there's voiceovers live action to where they're using, you know what I mean? Peter Cullen, like, he earned that from the 80s. Like, dude, remember who did Megatron first? Was it Viggo Mortens? I can't, no, not Viggo Mortensen. Viggo Hugo, something like that. Hugo Weaving. Fucking Agent Smith. But then they brought your boy back in as Megatron. Like, hey. But did he do a terrible job as Megatron? No. No. Starscream, I don't even know who does his in Cobra Commander's voice. Starscream, that was a whole nother, that was just a whole different voice, but it got the message across. So I'm just saying, before we bring out the pitchforks, like, look at the Orion packs on the uh, 80s cartoon. What was it, War Dawn or something like that? My favorite, like I said in a previous video, is the Orion packs and Megatron from the ID, from the content, from the, um, Align continuity. I love that idea, especially with Prime. Like, he was a gladiator. He was a data clerk. But sometimes I'm like, they transform, but why? Like, 
they turn into cars and shit. Like, what made them turn into that versus, like, any other object? Because on the movie, they just scan shit. And even on a cartoon, they scan it and just become it. So I'm like, why not just go straight to the top? Why the fuck are you a Volkswagen Beetle? And if, if Teletran 1 did that shit, reprogram that motherfucker and be like, yo, you need to go out and explore again. So I'm hoping this, because Transformers just made from toys that already fucking existed, imported here to America, and they... Bob Budiansky, I know that name now. I've listening to a bunch of other YouTubers. Just made profiles for them. A lot of 80 shit. He Man would just fly by the seat of your pants. Let's throw it to the wall and see if it sticks. So, I'm starting to really notice the hate culture that goes on. Like, I, I'm sometimes a part of it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not on a high horse, but I'm like, damn. Like, people, this is people's face when they watch that trailer. Like, yo, like, don't watch it. Like, I'm no longer going like, dude, when the Turtles came out, like the newest Turtles movies, those are not, they look, I do not like Raphael wearing this because the man ain't got waves, but I guess that just stuck. That is Raphael moving forward for now in the cart, in the cartoons and movies, because in the comics, it's not that. Um, in fact, in the comics that I'm reading, he's dead, but that's besides the point. There is enough for everyone, for everyone. There are kids right now who are seven those of you who are 20 right now who are saying that's not my Bumblebee, not my Megatron, not my Optimus Prime, but say these are, those seven-year-olds are going to be your age. You are going to be my age, and they're going to be like, this is my Optimus Prime. My nephew, who is 21 now, and I, 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 I don't just pull shit from my ass. My nephew swears that the Michael Bay Optimus is his Optimus. I get it. That makes sense. There are people who the, the, uh, the, the, the trilogy, episodes one, two, and three, of Star Wars, that is their Star Wars, not the original trilogy. It is okay. It's okay. I get it. They are fucking with something that you hold near and dear, but this is not anything fucking new. If anything, let's look at the bright side. This brings us more of this because before Michael Bay, from what I can tell, I can walk into Walmart and see old generation Transformers now. Before Michael Bay, I could not. I did not see this motherfucking Optimus Prime since I was a fucking kid. Yeah, there was Armada and all that, but there wasn't this G1. So if that's what's going to bring it in to me, that movie might bomb like a motherfucker. But if it puts money in Hasbro's pockets to start making more shit and keep pumping these motherfucking action figures out that I like, pump that shit, pump that shit out. You know what I'm saying? So let's just hold it back. I mean, if I'm lying, please comment down below. Um, if you can find an instance where I'm wrong, we're like, no, nah, they went with these voices and stuff. Dude, there's movies where they use A-list characters where it was live action and the movie still fucking sucked because that live, that actor couldn't save it. Yeah, we know Keanu Reeves and he's a great person. He seems to be a great person. I don't know, man, personally. To me, John Wick put him back on the map. Before John Wick, I was watching this Tai Chi movie on Netflix. I was like, what the fuck is this? Because he kind of fell off after Matrix. You know what I mean? For me, it was Bill and Ted and Speed, which he was only on the first one. And that was supposed to be a, a movie with Jeff Speakman, who was an up-and-coming actor, but I bet you didn't know that. Then there was The Matrix that revitalized him. Then, well, Miss Again, and then you got John Wick. But that doesn't mean he wasn't in shitty movies in between, okay? So, let's pump our brakes again. Let's give this a chance. There's enough pie for everyone. There's enough pie for everyone. There's enough for everyone. Go see it and then pass judgment. I'm going to say the look isn't for me. I like Megatron's look. I don't like how like he's the one being dragged in. But there were scenes in that trailer where like he looked like, you know what I mean? It got the quintessons. Nobody's even really talking about that. It's like, yo, they about to go into some deep ass lore. I cannot wait. Hopefully this is one. Why is this even one? Is this one of three? One of five? Do they have a blueprint to where we're not going to use Peter Cullen? Because God, I mean, God forbid, he might not even make it. That brings me to one of another major person, Captain America. When Chris, um, I keep, see, I got Chris Hemsworth. Let me go ahead and take a drink and think for a minute. The other guy, Chris Evans. When he was cast as Captain America, I remember that shit. Some of you were little tykes. When he was cast as Captain America, people didn't like that shit. Can you picture anybody else as Captain America? I'm just saying. Look at what he did before Captain America. He was the fucking human torch. Nobody liked that. 
He was in this movie called Push. Nobody liked that. He was in fucking not another teen movie. So my thing is, if somebody's gonna take it serious, wait and see the finished product. Now, if it comes out and motherfuckers just still hate it, that by all means, you paid your money, you have the right to voice your opinion, but you're gonna like, from a couple of snippets, come on, man, put, put the pitch, pitch force down. But that brings me to my next one. This arrived. Yo, I love it. Let none escape. My, my, my favorite shockwave is Prime. I love how he talked. I love his, that is illogical. Like that was badass. He was cold. The way he spoke, let none escape. He didn't seem cold and calculating. The one on Prime, he looked like he had no fucks to give. Like as long as it's logical. Like he was even about to execute Starscream. And he was like, why did you leave me? And he gave him some bullshit shooting from the hips. And he was like, that is logical. But yo, I like this. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen him on there. I'm glad they made this. I'm glad I did not get that bullshit small one. I don't know why it took four fucking years to make it. But I mean, that's just what the fuck they do. Thank God I'm still alive to be able to get it. Because four years, shit. So I'm like putting them together. The only thing that I am missing is Cliff Jumper. I don't even want the uh, triple changers because they're not true triple changers unless they re-release those and make them triple changers drop um shatter and drop kick or whatever i'm about to call them shadow star but um no nah, i'm good with them the only other one that i want that i had the chance to get but i didn't was cliff jumper but if they never re-release them i guess i'm not getting cliff jumper but let me know what y'all think about the trailer and if you've seen it and you was past judgment i implore you real talk go back and watch it forget everything you know Another thing, though, I will say that I am tired of. I am sick and tired because it's been shoved down our throats. No ditty. <laughs> Is the Marvel, the, the Marvel um, mixture for comedy. The Marvel uh, recipe for comedy. I'm sick of that bumble fumble. I am the 27. Uh, uh, you, uh, 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 why did you kill everybody? How's that a party? Like, God damn it. Stop. I, I was sick of that shit with Avengers. Like, fucking stop. That shit is not funny. It has never been funny. It is not funny. That humble bumble bullshit. They did it in the goddamn Michael Bay movies here and there. And then Avengers came out and just said, hold my beer and just... But it worked with Avengers, kind of. But, like, with Thor, they overdid it. Like, this is the god of fucking thunder. And you just made him look like a fucking idiot. Like, bumble, stumble, bum, 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 buffoon. But it is what it is, man. But just, please, God, there's more to comedy slapstick than just that. Like, please, let just one character take over that. But maybe it's not for me. I am not going to judge the whole movie on that. I was just voicing my opinion. Ugh! So anyway, let me know what y'all think. Go back and watch the trailer. Give it a second chance. Are you going to go watch this movie? Some people, it's really a hard pass. Me, I will go watch it. I, I will go watch it. I think it's nice because, last thing, I don't mean to ramble. We, including myself, want something fresh, want something new. And when we get it, we're already defensive. But when they give us the same old rinse, wash, repeat, we say they're, they're not creative anymore. Give us something new. I mean, tell me if I'm lying. I, I Please, I implore you, Mike. Please. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. Ooh, yeah.